Welcome to the Dractacular Midnight Special. I just didn't feel like saying I'm filming at night. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. I am your host, Holly. I live in Virginia with my husband, my two kids, my cat, my dog, and I am currently filming at night. Lame. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm literally sitting on this tiny bar stool in my pajamas because it is 1045 at night right now. Um, <laughs> so I am so out of breath because I just did this whole setup in like 20 minutes and <laughs> I'm hot and out of breath and I'm pooped already. So grab yourself a glass of wine because this is a nighttime uh, filming. I won't be drinking coffee. I will be partaking in wine. Oh God, that is delicious. Okay. <laughs> um, so welcome all new viewers. I know we have quite a few and Thank you for coming back to returning viewers. Um, I'm super excited because we have a big announcement today, but I will get to that in a minute. So we'll get to the admin part of this. We are running a Honey Blossom shawl cow, we being me. And it ends on February 14th on Valentine's Day. So if you are partaking, make sure to get your entries in because I have four amazing prizes to give away and I want them to go to new homes. So I will be going over the prizes, but be sure to get it in. You have until midnight of February 14th, Eastern Standard Time. So first prize is this bad boy. This is Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Gnome. There's two balls of this going to one person. So two balls of this, and then two balls of this beauty. This is also Lion Brand, Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Sphinx. You can't even see that, but beautiful. I always get the most jacked up skeins of yarn, I swear. So the next prize is the Christmas or holiday edition of Crochet World Magazine, which has 24 patterns in, pa okay, just speak, patterns in it. Um, also, we have a pattern that was, excuse me, that was a wine burp. We also have a pattern that was donated by Jody Fieldhouse of Evan Gaze Crochet. I will pop up a picture of her shop right now. So those are the patterns that she has available right now. She has generously donated one free pattern to the person who wins. Um, and that is pretty much it for the cow. Um, I want to do the new yarn creators that I have found this week. Um, trying to compose myself. I'm already one glass of wine in, so yeah. <laughs> This is my second time trying. I've I've been having bad luck with filming. Literally the first 13 episodes were one take, one and done. And lately it has just been crap lately. So new yarn creators, podcasts that I have recently found as of yesterday morning. Um, I didn't check today. I was busy. <laughs> So the ones that I have found is Radiant Fibers. Now, she has previous videos. I haven't watched them, but I watched her first one of having a podcast. Um, her podcast goal is to 
interview people of the fiber world. And I thought that was super interesting and completely new. I mean, we have the Christy Glass of the knitting world, but will she be the Christy Glass of the crochet world? We'll see. But I totally loved her vibe. She was like, she was look, she seems awesome. Um, next one is the tatted tatter. She crochets and tats. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I think it is some type of form of crocheting. I'm not, I don't know, but she does crochet and I, I'm trying to think of what she did. I'm not sure if she knits or not. I can't remember to be honest. So there's that. Um, those are the only two that I have found this week that are actual crochet podcasts, not ones that are knitting podcasts that show one crochet item that they've been working on all year, which most of the time is a blanket. Um, so we have reached 500 subscribers. That means giveaway. I am so like blown away because I never in a million years expected I would hit 500 subscribers because I've said, rec I've said, not recently, I've said in a previous video that I actually was on YouTube about seven years ago. And that was a 16 year old me trying to be a beauty guru. <laughs> um, I had a hundred and a 11 or 112 videos on my channel. I did it for like a year and a half, almost two years. And I tried to keep up with it, but with being a new mom, it just didn't work. Um, so yeah, I did 112 videos and only had 111 subscribers and I did it for a year and a half. So me doing this for not even four months yet and having 500 subscribers is insane to me like it blows my mind so we're doing a 500 subscriber giveaway i'm giving out oh my gosh i almost did it again um <laughs> hey <laughs> um i'll be giving out two prizes and they're decent prizes but they're all stash dives this is stuff that i've had in my stash i have a red heart giveaway and paint box yarn giveaway. So there's two prize. Oh my God. I almost did it again where I was going to do four. I don't know what I'm thinking. So we have two prizes. Um, the first one is the red hearts. And of course I have crappy skeins that don't want to stay together. So this is red heart stripes in polo stripes. This is horrendous. Like <laughs> it's a new skein, I promise. But Apparently when I got to it, it was just, it was over its life. This one is an older skein. I honestly have no idea um, if they even make this anymore, but this is Red Heart Super Saver Camo in the colorway Mirage. Now it is this beautiful creams, browns, and blues. I love it. I actually used one skein to make my mother-in-law a scarf. Sorry about the loud toilet flush. The next one is the Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in Parrot Stripes. Ooh, don't shake that. This is very unstable. You're currently on my ironing board. And next, you will get two balls of Red Heart with love. Let's get the tag. The tags. The tag. I've been watching too many... Um, I think Canadian podcasters, Canadians and Midwesterners tend to have a similar, um, like, oh my gosh, it's like right on accent. Some of the, um, so red heart with love in the colorway echo. So you will also get two balls of that. That is the first prize. So you're getting five skeins or balls of yarn with one prize. <clears throat> so the next one is a paint box yarn giveaway. <laughs> um, 
Paintbox Yarns is literally one of my favorite acrylics. I don't think I have found a softer acrylic at this point. I think the only thing that would be comparable is the um, Deborah Norville Everyday, but I still, oh, I love Paintbox Yarn. So you will get um, this guy. I believe this is Duck Egg Blue, and this is their Simply Erin. And then you will get this pink. Um, I think this is ballet pink, but I am not sure. Um, and this is also Erin weight. So they're simply Erin. And then you will get three balls of their Simply DK in the colorway Tea Rose. And let me tell you, this is a very popular color because when I ordered it, I ordered two balls. I wanted to order five. I ordered two and I got like the last two that they had. And then what are you doing? Um, I bought the two and then I had to wait like three or four weeks till I could get the last three. So I gave you guys three and me too. But then it turns out I didn't even use it for anything. Like I bought it because I love the color, but then I'm like, what am I going to do with five skeins of DK yarn in this colorway? I have no idea. So that is the second prize for the giveaway. So little shop update. I created a new pattern, which is also an FO. So that will lead us into our FOs. But I made a new pattern. Um, it was... <laughs> One of those things that I have been seeing everywhere. And when I looked for a pattern to do it, I couldn't find one that I actually liked. I found similar ones, but nothing I liked. <clears throat> so I have made this little guy, which is totally blowing out. Here we go. This is the plush face scrubby. I made two, but my other one, oh, I showed you the back. <laughs> um, I currently have made two at this point, but my other one is in my shower because I used it this morning to wash my face. Um, this is a free pattern on Ravelry that I have made, and I have to tell you, I am kind of blown away by the response because <laughs> I'm not sure where it's at at this point, but when I uploaded this, within two days, it was on the seventh page of the What's Hot Right Now list on Ravelry. And I was kind of shocked because I would not think that my humble face scrubby would be popular enough to be on the seventh page. That's crazy for a face scrubby. Um, so like I said, that is up on Ravelry for free. But if you're feeling generous, I also have it on Etsy for $1.99, I believe. So if you'd like to purchase a pattern to help a starving artist like myself, <laughs> um, you can do that. Up to you. I have it on both platforms. So if you feel like you want to buy it, you can. If you want it for free, it's there as well. Um, also for the shop update in um, Etsy, I did post ready to ship items. So I listed the cowl and ear warmer set that was in the gelato pot colorway. Um, there is the black argyle cowl that I did that I showed in my very first episode. That is up for sale. And um, what was the other one? Oh, the green um victorian lattice blank baby blanket is in there as well as stitch markers i made some stitch markers i like the metal charms so i have those on lobster claws and those are a dollar fifty unless they're like a really big one and then it's two dollars each um i'm thinking about doing a discount that if you buy three or more you'll get like 10 or 15% off of them. I'll have to uh, do something with that. So 
that leads us to FOs because this was an FO because I made two. <laughs> um, my next FO is this guy, which I still have to sew in the ends, but it is this. This is the Glacier Cowl by Jean Steinhilber. This is in Premier Sweet Rolls in the colorway Ice Pop. So super duper cute. I love this. Um, and you're totally looking at the back. <laughs> I keep showing you the back of stuff today. Here is the front. Um, I will be making a matching ear warmer. And once I finish that, it will be going up in the shop for sale. Um, so yes, that is it. And this is like, oh, so squishy. I know winter is coming to a close, but there are still people that are probably going to be getting snow until April. I'm looking at you, Canada and Alaska. I'm looking at you. Um, the next thing I have a hoe, a half object. I finished one of my Parker cable socks. <laughs> I love it. So I was going to make this as long as I possibly could with the ball that I had, but it would have been way too long and would not have fit all the way up my calf. So this is as far as I went. And as you can see, you do this little heel, increase, decrease, and then I just did like an inch of ribbing at the top. So this is the Parker Cable Sock by Lakeside Loops. This is a paid pattern at $5 USD. So it's super cute. Um, my only complaint is it feels more like a slipper sock. It is not tight fitting. So I made the medium, which is a size for sizes seven to nine. And I'm a nine and a half and this is still kind of loose fitting. So if you're a seven, I would make a small, like seven, seven and a half, make a small size because this is going to be too big. Like it will be. It's more like slipper socks. And I was oh, really hoping it would be a sock sock, which it's thick, it's stretchy, but I mean, it's stretchy as, I mean, as stretchy as acrylic can be. Um, I don't know. I like it. It's pretty. It's going to keep my feet toasty. It's just not the kind of sock that I was wanting. And the pattern is written really, really well. She gives you photo tutorials and she also has a um, link to a private YouTube video that shows you how to do the thing, the whole sock every step of the way. So that is super duper helpful. So to me, totally worth the $5. And Emma said she wants one. So I'm going to have to find a um, rainbow yarn because she wants it in rainbow. So I'm... <clears throat> Oh, fiber got up my nose. I'm thinking rainbow stripes. Um, so this yarn is Lion Brand Mandala yarn in the colorway Pegasus. This is all I have. Well, I still have a small ball left, but this is majority of what I had left from a the honey blossom shawl that I did and tried scrapping, but it broke too many times and I tossed it. So this is all I have left. But I have one sock. And I will do the next one soon. So moving on to whips. Um, <laughs> the whips that I started last week, a lot of them did not get touched. Um, particularly the flax sweater that I started. Um, I had to get bigger knitting needles on a cable. My cable was too small and I thought I had the right size needle with that size cable but i didn't it was a size too small so i had to order it and it still hasn't got here yet so totally bummed because i wanted to start working on that like all the time all the time so we will move on so i did work on my summer romance shawl 
which will be a pattern that I am releasing soon, hopefully. Um, I still have to hear back from two testers. Um, so yeah, which I know Randy is getting closer to being done. So I'm probably expecting hers within the next week or so. Hopefully, I would say two, maybe one, two weeks. Cause I know she's busy. She's a mom. Her husband's away right now. Um, so, and the other one, I'm not sure. So this is it so far. It is super sparkly. Um, I'm finally getting into that gradient of to the light blue. It is so pretty. Um, so I am using Wooltrum's yarn in the colorway Winter Wonderland number two. I don't know if this is still available, like the, this color, um, cause I think it might be like a Christmas exclusive color, but I wanted to show like this here is my other one. <laughs> Um, I wanted to show it in a fingering weight so you can see that you can do it in any weight yarn and it's still going to look good. So I am loving the way this is turning out. Um, this one I will have to block. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to block cotton and acrylic blends. So I will have to look that up. I know acrylic you have to steam block from what I've heard, watched. <laughs> So yeah, this pattern will be out March, hopefully. No, it will be out by March. I'm hoping sooner. Um, so yeah, this is that. I don't know what else I was going to say. Like I said, I am already a glass of wine in and I am slowly working on my second. If any of you are offended by wine drinking, I am so sorry. But I need it. <laughs> I need it right now. So the next one that I have worked on is Pinkie Pie. I have made hardly any progress on Pinkie Pie. Let me tell you. My daughter celebrated her birthday. Well, we didn't celebrate, celebrate. We bought cupcakes with a candle for yesterday. Because her birthday was actually yesterday. But my husband didn't get to bed or didn't get, my husband didn't get home until 10 o'clock last night. So obviously we couldn't celebrate her birthday because dad wouldn't have been there. So we just did, I told him to pick up the cupcakes and like a four pack of cupcakes and a candle. And we did a little sing song, eat cupcakes. And we're going to celebrate her birthday next weekend when he has three days off. So we, why do I keep saying we, I have been working on it and this is the third foot. Um, I was currently like right in the middle of doing this. Um, and I will tell you, I don't think I stuffed those other ones enough because now that I am, I've learned the technique of pulling the fiber fill apart and stuffing it. This is way smoother, like way smoother. And I've noticed that on my other ones, they're just really lumpy and loose. And if you kind of push it too hard in one direction, you'll get like a lump, like an indention lump <clears throat> where this one I can kind of push and I'm not even done filling it yet. Um, I mean, for the most part, the bottom is full, but, um, like I, I'm only about halfway through the height or two thirds, three fifths, <laughs> um, of the way there. So as you can see much smoother. So I don't think I stuffed the other ones enough. I mean, I probably should have stuffed them a lot, lot more. Um, but that. I have finally gotten into the second ball of Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Baby Pink. Um, so, actually, I should have totally used this color. That would have looked way, that would have looked better. 
Anyways, finally gotten into the second ball of this and I am slowly working on her. I'm hoping to get it done by her birthday party that we're going to have at Chuck E. Cheese. But that means I cannot crochet on anything else. So this next week, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this next week, I'm going to be busy on Pinkie Pie for sure. Um, I will be showing some knitting next so you can go to the number right here on the screen and that will be when I am done talking about knitting so if you do not wish to listen about knitting you can fast forward to that and I will be done with my spiel okay so I did work on her um oh I am right in the middle of a row I did work I'm gonna finish it off real quick um, I did work on Emma's Bright My Day Wrap, um, and the yarn I'm using is Red Heart Super Saber in Day Glow. Um, it is a neon bright, um, yarn, and the white that I'm using is Big Twist Value in white, um, and this is a free pattern by Nancy J. Thomas. It is the Brighten My Day Wrap. I have turned it into a scarf because she does not need a ginormous wrap. She is five. I have a five-year-old. Her birthday was yesterday. So, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to be as fast as I can and keep you guys entertained. I am a continental knitter and I've realized that I totally knit weird because I don't flick my raw, I don't flick my yarn and I don't throw it. I wrap it with my fingers. So yeah, I'm a weird knitter, I guess, but it works for me and whatever makes you comfortable, right? That's what's important. So come on, last stitch. Okay, so last time we saw this, I was, let's see, so I've made some progress. I was right here, so I made a teeny bit of progress, not a lot. Knitting is very slow for me. Um, crochet, I can crochet my life away and be very, very fast, but that is where I'm at. And like I said, the bright neon colors is Red Heart Super Saver Day Glow. And the white is Big Twist Yarns Value. Big Twist Value Yarn in white. Oh, I totally messed up that stitch. Before I forget and then I go back and do this, I'm totally going to mess it up. So yeah, that is all the crocheting and knitting that I have for you this week. Um, not very much. I don't know why. I didn't lose my crojo, as some people call it. Um, I just, I don't know. I've been busy. I've been wanting to spend more time with the kids because, um, Nick is working a lot more this week. So I've been taking more time to spend that extra quality time with them. Um, you know, play with them a little more, more one-on-one -on -one because my kids are, <laughs> when they don't get enough attention, they're monsters. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My daughter had her birthday yesterday, which we, like I said, just celebrated with some, oh, drop stitch. <clears throat> oh, no. Saved. I friggin' saved it. It's probably gonna look janked, but whatever. <laughs> so like I said, I celebrated my daughter's birthday. Um, yeah. Did I ever go over what I needed, what you needed to do to enter the giveaway? I don't think I said what you needed to do. So you must subscribe to my channel and comment down below what your favorite current food is. Mine right now is ramen, like good ramen, not Marichan, not Nissan, 
Um, I love this Nongshim stuff. Um, it has been used, oh, it has been used in spicy ramen challenges. And I will tell you, oh my gosh, I'm sitting on this tiny bar stool and I have a big ass. So it's really starting to hurt now. So I've seen it done um, on these spicy ramen challenges and I was like, it can't be that hot. There's no way. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to die. They have a red version and a black version and the black version is super tasty. It's hot. It's spicy, but it's very garlicky and I love garlic. It is so good, but they also have a red one. And I instinctively thought red, black, black must be spicier. So I went for the black. I was wrong. The red is definitely spicier. I thought I was going to die. Like I had tears going down my face, snot running. My mouth was on fire. Oh my gosh. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. Like it was bad. And it didn't help that I'm one of those people that are like, well, I don't like a lot of water with my ramen, so I'm not going to use as much as I say. I'm going to use like, oh, I don't use as much water. So that like really made it strong. Um, so like when I was eating it, there was actually no liquid by the time I like sat down to eat because the noodles have absorbed the rest of the sauce that was left so it was extremely hot um but it is so tasty what's that word like a, ma a masochist where they enjoy pain that might be me when it comes to spicy food like it was so good and i was just like i was regretting it in the moment but then the second later i took another bite and i'm like it's so good and then the heat hit and i'm like Oh, this was a bad idea but it's so good oh sorry miss kitty meow meow my cat is literally laying right underneath my feet so i believe that is it this weekend guys um i will see you all next week and hopefully it won't be a night one and i won't be kind of tipsy because I'm kind of feeling it a little bit like I want to go take a nap that's what wine does to me it makes me want to go take a nap like I need to go curl up on the couch with a warm toasty blanket and go to sleep even though it's not even cold right now <laughs> I have my window open it's like 65 out I don't know what's going on with this weather 30 one day 65 the next it's annoying. So I will close it out here, guys. Have a good night. Have a good Sunday, Monday, whenever you watch me. Be stay, be safe. <laughs> I'm tipsy. Be safe. Have fun and happy crochet. Bye.